The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Nadia's eye muscles are repaired. Kristen is injured in a field hockey game. Aaron's fused feet are reconstructed. And Armand needs major surgery to close the hole in his heart. Like I was not expecting to have, you know, to be told that our baby needs open heart surgery. Five-month-old Armand was born with a large hole between the two pumping chambers of his heart. Where are the kids over there? Look at the kids. His heart is unable to deliver enough blood flow to his body, and if untreated, Armand will die of heart failure. He's yes. extremely aware of yeah. what goes on. Yeah. You can just keep playing with that. Today, he undergoes final testing to ensure he is healthy enough to withstand major surgery to close the hole. He was term, and uh, everything went pretty well, actually. We thought it was pretty normal. And attending pediatrician mentioned that he had a heart murmur. And murmurs actually run in my family, so it was nothing new. So it, was, we, it never entered our mind that he'd have a problem. It wasn't until probably a couple of weeks ago when I went to a pediatrician for a, a different problem for him. He has um, thrush, which is now gone. But the um, pediatrician with, I guess, 22 years experience noticed that he had, his breathing is labored. And I just thought it was part of his personality, this grunting sound. And from there, she sent me to sick kids. Like she said, told me not even bother going home, just go right to um, cardiology. And then within a couple of days, we found out that he had a hole between his two ventricles. I was not expecting to be told that our baby needs open heart surgery. That just floored me. No, he's, he's in good spirits, good condition. You wouldn't think that anything was actually wrong with him. He just has really skinny legs. He's got skinny legs. Well, his heart is beating twice as fast. Now we found out, yeah, his heart isn't supposed to beat twice as fast. As fast as a normal heart. Mm. Yeah. So it'll be good to get him sort of fixed and on his way back to health. Where are you going? Okay. You ready for this? Huh? Here we go. 14 year old high school student Aaron was born with Apert syndrome, a rare genetic condition that has resulted in fused bones in his skull, hands, and feet. Aaron has already endured 21 reconstructive operations to build fingers and toes and reshape his cranium. Over the last few months, walking has become increasingly difficult for Aaron. So what grade are you in, Aaron? Ten. Ten. So you passed the minor niner, right? Yes. <laughs> so today, Aaron faces his 22nd surgery. Doctors will cut through fused bones in Aaron's feet and reposition them in the hope he can walk pain-free. Most of the time, I think he, he does uh, he doesn't want to be seen as different. He wants to be seen as just one of the kids and tries to do everything that everyone else can do and, and uh, makes a, a good solid effort at it. And if, if he can't do it, then he'll say so after, but he always gives it a try first, so. We do what we can do, right? Yes. We take for granted even something simple as the bottom of our feet and we come home after a hard day's work and our feet are killing us yeah. and what he's got to go through every day when he gets out of bed. Yeah. So I don't know how he does it. I'd be taking about four steps and I'd be sitting down. Yeah. You just, yeah. you just don't. So it's really, it's an exciting day for all of us to see what the end result's gonna be. I mean, and we have, I mean, we're patient, so we can wait those six weeks <laughs> to see, you know, and, and hope that uh, this is the last one on his feet. Despite Aaron's extensive experience, facing his 22nd surgery is still nerve wracking. He meets the anesthetist who is responsible for putting him to sleep and keeping him alive during his surgery. One dad, one dad, two dad. How do you do? Hi. Hi. How do you do? How are you, sweetie? Good. Good. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm tired. 
A little bit tired? Yeah. Right. Can you open your mouth big for me? Big as you can. Big, 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 big. Stick out your tongue. Wonderful. That's the only time you get to stick your tongue out at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> can you look way up at the sky? I know. And now the kids always say, there's no sky up there. Yeah. Right. Just come a little bit farther away and look as far as you can way up. Good job. And you can look down again. Look right to the ground. Perfect. And just go okay. normal. That's good. I'm just going to feel it. Now, I read here that you want to go to sleep with the little intravenous. Yes. Yeah. Do you want no mask at all, or do you want a little bit of gig of gas? Uh, no mask at all. No mask at all. Okay, so let me just have a quick peek at your hands here. Oh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Do you have any questions? No, I think we're okay. All right. We've Great. gone through this so many times now. Good. <laughs> all right. I'm the last one. So I'm just going to go get things ready, and, and we'll, we'll come down in just a few minutes. And okay. All righty? Okay. Good job. Yeah. Great. Great. Aaron must endure a few more minutes of anxious waiting before his surgery gets underway. Never wake a sleeping baby. I'm Dimitri. This Hi, is Larnie. Hey, nice Armand's parents meet the cardiovascular surgeon who will close the hole in his heart. OK, so uh, you've been through the mill a little bit, and people have explained a lot to you about what it is we're planning on doing. Did you have any questions or things you wanted to ask about? They told us if he hadn't caught it, he could have gone into heart failure, and that really freaks me out. Right. So after this, like, what are the possibilities of something freakish like that happening? Well, why don't we break it down into the issues that are involved around the time of operation and then the long-term issues, because those are two separate things. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, issues around the time of operation, his, uh, we, we need to clo close the hole between the lower chambers of his heart. So in the operation, what we'll do is we'll put a little patch in there and close the hole between the lower chambers of the heart. Mm -hmm. The electrical wiring system in the heart runs right along the edge of that hole. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's injured uh, permanently, then he would need a permanent pacemaker for the rest of his life. Anybody who goes on the heart-lung machine has a possibility of dying. There's also risk of a brain injury or stroke. So, I mean, other things can come up, but those are pretty much the most relevant problems that can come up here. I would tell you, uh, during the operation, uh, when you're out in the waiting room, don't watch the clock. Uh, no. no news is good news. As long as you don't hear anything, that means everything's okay. If there's any serious problem, I'll send someone out to talk to you. Armand's open heart surgery is just one week away. Fourteen-year-old Kristen has been brought to the ER after she was hit in the head by a field hockey ball. Um, well, we're supposed to wear mouth guards, but I forgot mine this morning, so I wasn't wearing it. And my coach said I was really lucky, because if the ball had been a couple inches lower, I would have lost all my teeth, which wouldn't have been good. That's a lesson. <laughs> I asked the nurse, and she said I could have a cracked skull, which is really scary, because I don't want my head to, like, fall apart. But I don't think, that, I really hope that doesn't happen. Any head injury has the potential to be serious. Kristen is given a standard neurological examination to test for brain injury. You know where you are right now? Yeah, at the hospital. At the hospital? Which one? Sick kids. Sick kids. In what city? In what city? Um, Toronto. Okay. And your name is? Kristen. Okay. Your mom's name? Muriel. Okay. And your dad's name? Michael. And what's today's date? October 15th. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> and uh, what day of the week is it? Friday. Symptoms of brain injury can take hours to appear. Yeah, there is some blood in here. Kristen must remain under observation for four hours. If her headache becomes worse, she may need a CT scan to check for bleeding. Hugs and kisses. Hugs okay. and kisses. Give your mom a kiss. Come on. Yeah. Give your no. All right. Oh, I'm give sorry. your mom a hug. Then. The surgical team right. is ready for Aaron. Give your dad a hug too. Come on. He'll be good. Give your other dad a hug. <laughs> it's time for his 22nd operation to begin. Nice and slow. Uh, mm -hmm. How fast is it going to go by? 
Sleep You're going to be asleep in probably less than a minute. Have a nice sleep, okay? Everything's going to go very well. And, and how much time is it going to be in sleeping? Uh, it's going to feel like a couple of minutes. There you go, boy. Have a nice sleep. Okay. Now that Aaron's asleep, his surgeon takes a last look at x-rays of the fused bones in his feet. You can see on the x-ray, there's the, the two metatarsals. And when there should normally be a space like there is between the other ones, you can see how he has this uh, fusion between the two of them. And that's not a normal connection uh, between those two bones. So that's what we're going to start by taking that apart. And then we're going to cut some of these metatarsals down here so that they go into a better position for his weight bearing. Can we have a marking pen, please? So let's start with the left side first. So you're going to set up both saws? and Yeah, uh, yeah that would be great, thanks. I might come just in on the lateral side of that tendon, and we'll pull it immediately. I think there is another tendon here. Yes, that's what she's going to be careful of. Yeah. Okay, you want to get the saw? I think we'll use the micro-oscillating first. Aaron's surgeons must meticulously saw through the fused bones to avoid damage to nerves and tendons. Perfect. A slip here could leave Aaron with even more difficulty walking than he already has. Aaron's family waits for news from the operating room. The surgeon has completed the first phase, cutting the fused bones, and now casts Aaron's feet to reposition the bones. That's fine. So I'm molding this cast so that it pushes the bones back into the correct position and uh, putting his foot kind of flat to the ground. As you see now how all the toes are lined up. Okay, I got this one. Once both casts over. have been molded, Aaron's surgery will be complete. Hi there, how are you doing? Good, how are you? How are you? Oh, great. Good. So, well done, everything went fine, yeah. uh, pretty much exactly as planned. How much he feels walking is very individual. So some guys will get up and they'll be sore, but they'll hobble around right, right. away. Not there as it takes a week, maybe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, right. and we'll see how he's uh, feeling then. And by then we should have an idea when he's gonna uh, be able to go home. Yeah. Okay? Good. Good. Okay. Great. So we'll see you later then. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Good. Aaron is now awake, and his parents make the familiar trek to the recovery room. Hey, buddy. How are you? How are you making out, buddy? How do your feet feel now? Mm -hmm. Still he's sore, sore yeah. but he can move his toes, he can feel whenever I'm yeah. touching him, and then mm -hmm. the sun warm and will be yeah. good. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. I love you, buddy. Glad to see you're okay. It has been over five hours since Kristen was hit by the field hockey ball. She is re-examined for symptoms. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Hi, Hi Kristen. Hi. My name is Dr. Michael Janakis, and we didn't forget about you. We were letting a little bit of time go by because we needed to examine you again and see how you how you felt and how your symptoms were. At first, when it happened, like. I could see and everything, but I could, was seeing like two outlines of certain sure. things, and I was kind of dizzy. That's gone now. I just have a headache. So we're over the four-hour time mark, and you're telling me that you feel better. The dizziness is gone. Yeah, well, they did give me some Tylenol to help get rid of my headache. The good news is you're sitting up chatting with us. You remember everything that happened. You didn't lose consciousness at all. You haven't been vomiting, and if anything, your symptoms are disappearing. Does it hurt a lot? Um. Yeah, it hurts a lot more if you touch it. So you're warning me, are you, not to touch it? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that's part of what we have to do. When you get hit by something that moves, we want to make sure that it hasn't knocked the bone in at all, which would be a depressed skull fracture, which I doubt you'd have. 
There's a few things I'm going to warn you against that I want you to be careful, and that's mainly returning to sports. You're the boss. Mom's not going to know how you feel. Your coach isn't going to know how you feel. If you don't feel well, you need to tell them and you need to rest yourself. Okay. Kristen also figure skates sort of five times a week. Sometimes it's, it's jumping, it's impact, it's movement, it can be spinning. I really can't predict what sort of activity will bring that out. But any physical activity could do it. Take it day by day and uh, see how you feel. Do I have to go back to school? <laughs> I leave those questions for moms. <laughs> uh, Put it this way, if you don't, you're not going out later. From a medical perspective, you got a big smile on your face, you're feeling pretty good. If you're up to it, I'm happy for you to go back to school. Okay. Politician. Fair enough. <laughs> right, that's okay. fine. It is not yet dawn, but Armand and his parents have been up for hours. It is the morning of the open heart surgery that could save his life. Look at you. You're all set and ready to go. Armand is the first case of the day. It's time for his parents to say goodbye. Now that Armand is anesthetized, surgery to repair the hole in his heart can begin. Yeah, we're going to use it. Okay. Okay, to start. Tally, yes. The team's first job is to open up Armand's chest and saw through his sternum. It takes the highly skilled hand of a cardiovascular surgeon to expose Armand's tiny heart without creating any damage. It's been three hours since Armand was taken into the operating room. Doctors are ready to close the hole in Armand's heart. Hello there, BSD. Right where it ought to be. Is there any order to now? Good out, I treated pericardial patch, please. Tissue from the covering of Armand's own heart will be used as a patch. Hey, can I see that patch, please? Can I give it this back? Uh, 5-0 small needle. Armand's surgeon now begins to painstakingly sew in the patch of tissue to close the hole between the pumping chambers. It's only bit into the valve itself. Yeah, now I'm just going to trim this patch a little bit. Uh, scissor, please. Any pain? No. No? Well, that's a start. It's been 24 hours since the fused bones in Aaron's feet were separated. Okay, first I want you to shift your bum up in the chair. Before he can go home, okay. he must Holding demonstrate to his on. physiotherapist that he is able to withstand the pain of walking in his casts. Whoa! This is a superstar. Okay, slowly. Stand all the way straight. That's good. Excellent. How's it feel? Very good. Pain level? One. Wow. It's doing amazing. Better than I expected. Wow. Remarkably, Aaron is able to tolerate the pain and will be discharged later today. Awesome. He will return in six weeks for a checkup and to have his casts removed. Way to go, Aaron. Amazing! Eight-year-old Nadia has come to the hospital to see her ophthalmologist. That's our weapon, is there? <laughs> um, she's been healthy. She's, she's been, been healthy. She's been great. Nadia's eyes drift outward when she is tired, and she is preparing for surgery to straighten them. Nadia has a turning out of the eye called exotropia, and we're going to be able to show that her left eye is diverging outward. When I make her look with that eye, the right eye diverges outward. The surgery next month is going to be geared to try and slacken the outer muscles which are moving her eyes to try and make them straighter for her. We want to overcompensate a little bit 
to take into account the probability, which is the highest, that it will start to drift back out again. So our aim with the surgery is not necessarily to make her straight, but to put her in just a few degrees inward. Now, we're not going to make her a cross-eyed kid in terms of an obvious look. That's not the intention. The intention is to put it in just a few degrees off straight because the drift back is between 3 and 5 degrees. And we want to aim to put her in 3 to 5 degrees, anticipating that on the average she'll drift back about 3 to 5 degrees. And so the initial few days she may have a bit of double vision just because of the fact that she's being transferred from a turned out position, which her brain has been used to all this time, to a turned in position, which is opposite to what she's been used to. So it's not uncommon for a child to have, especially at her age, to have a little bit of double vision at the beginning. I want you to look at the E at the end of the room, all right? Nadia's ophthalmologist uses prisms to gauge how much her eyes turn out and how much of an adjustment he'll need to make to straighten them. Okay, and that's it. So do you understand everything that we talked to you about? I can. I'm scared. Are you? <laughs> well, you know what? It's, very, it's not unusual to be scared. But you know what? There's a lot of very nice people up there that are going to be really nice to you and they're gonna explain everything to you when you come in for your surgery. So, you feel a little better about going through it now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Nice to see you. So, you're terrific. Thank nice you. to see you, okay. Uh -huh. we'll see you that day. Nadia's eye surgery oh, yeah. is three weeks Take away. Take care of them. All right. Armand's open heart surgery has been underway for four hours. The patch has been secured, and an echocardiogram is used to check the blood flow in and out of Armand's heart. Armand's heart is functioning well. Once his surgeons wire his sternum and suture his chest, the operation will be complete. Chest closed. All right, nice and dry. Thank you. Thank Natasha, you. thanks. Hey, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? All right, so we're all finished. Thanks so well. Okay. Yes, they really did. They did. Thank you we didn't have much. any uh, specific problems. He came off bypass easily. His heart's working well. Uh, when we look with the echocardiogram at the end, we can't see any residual blockages or holes. Mm -hmm. All right? Good. Good. All right, and I'll see you. So you'll be later. checking on yes. him tomorrow, or of how course. does that? Yeah, good. All right. Well, thanks for all your work. Okay. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right, you. So long. Bye. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Armand has been transferred from the operating room to the critical care unit. He is too weak to breathe on his own, and must be kept on life support. How's his heart rate? It goes up a little higher, but it's coming down. Right. Um, yeah, you touch it? No, of course. There should be a hand. The next 24 hours, as Armand's body adjusts to the new way his heart functions, could be very difficult for Armand's parents. It's the morning of Nadia's eye repair. For many children, being put to sleep is the most frightening part of surgery. Nadia's family accompanies her to meet her anesthetist. Um, how come you're in these PJs? I don't know. You don't know. So you just came here and your mum said, put on the PJs and here you, you know. are. There we say, how come you're in the PJs? Because Dr. Kraft tells me you're getting your eye mended. Would that be correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And has anybody told you what's going to happen to you while you get your eye mended? No. Nope. So you don't know about how you're going to go off to sleep or things like that? Yeah, you put on your nose and your mouth and then you, you um, count to number, to a number and then you fall asleep. And it's magical kind of a sleep. So even if we shouted in your ear, Nadia, Nadia, loud, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, you won't wake up till it's all done. And then you will wake up. 
and when you go to the wake-up room, which is just through that door, you can have a freezy if you would like. Okay. And your mummy will wait for you here, and your brother, even if he is a pain. And we'll <laughs> see you in the recovery room. It's time for Nadia to go to the operating room. Actually, where's your brother? Yeah, you need to have your mum. She's going to need you in here. Yes. Okay. Come here. While Nadia is anesthetized, her surgeon prepares for the operation. The biggest concern is are you going to get the child's eye straight? Because the surgery is meant to put their eyes in a position that once they uh, heal up, uh, they'll be you know, in a position where the eyes will remain straight and hopefully straight for the rest of their life. Put this on here. That's great, thanks very much. Are you okay with that, mm -hmm. that there? So, I'm gonna start with the right eye. The first step for Nadia's surgeon is to expose the muscle that is causing her eye to drift outward. I'm just going to make an incision to the base level, which is the sclera, that's the white of her eye. And you can see that now by removing the hook, we have a muscle that's totally free, and it's going to be allowed to hang back to a position several millimeters back from where it was. Back in. The muscle is now stitched to secure it in its new position. The and there we are. So her eye muscle has now been moved back, and her surface layer is now covered over. And we have. Nice relaxed muscle there. And you can actually see the eye has moved towards a little more inward position. It won't stay there very long, but it's just from stretching it out, we've actually got that eye a little in, and the same thing is going to happen symmetrically on the other side. One day after open heart surgery, Armand's breathing tube will be removed. Removing the breathing tube could cause Armand's airway to collapse. His respiratory therapist must be ready to reinsert the tube if Armand does not begin to breathe on his own. The tube is out. He's breathing on his own now, right? Looks very good. Breath sounds are clear. His upper airway may be a little slightly swollen from the tube, so we Give him a little bit of oxygen and some cool mist just to keep down the swelling. So he should be okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, guys. So far, Armand is breathing well. He will use the oxygen hood for the rest of the day until the swelling in his airway subsides. Nadia's eye muscle repair has been underway for one hour. Her surgeon has now moved the muscles in both her eyes to try to straighten them. So the last thing I do is just to pull the eye over the other way to sort of make the muscle fall back. And you can see now, under at least under anesthetic, that uh, we've achieved a fairly straight, if not a little bit of a cross position of the two eyeballs. I also put in a drop of anesthetic in each eye, if we can get the tetracaine. Um, that way she wakes up without a lot of irritation at the immediate post-operative situation. Okay, very good. Okay. Got your own room. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? So how are you keeping? Fine, so how yep. are you doing? Perfect. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yep, no problems whatsoever. Her eyes will be fairly red, as I mentioned to you, over right. the white. The white triangle on each side will mm -hmm. be fairly red and bloodshot for about four weeks, and then it'll start to fade after the next two or three weeks after that. Um, her eyes will be a little watery. She'll be sensitive to wind and cold and bright lights. So there's no skiing? Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> for about, probably mm -hmm. about three or four weeks. The only concern right now is infections. If she had an infection, you would see a change in the sort of tearing to a very thick pussy discharge. Right. Her eye would get red, not just over the side, but over the whole white of the eye. It will get very angry red, usually swelling around the eye. The eye may start paining her. All right, so any questions? Anything? Everything is on the sheet there. Thank on you. the sheet there, okay? So I hope that's going to do it. Let's go for three days, right? Pardon? Let's go for three days. Uh. Your sister. <laughs> oh, but she needs family support. She needs family support. That's right.
So if she plays video games with you, just be easy on her, okay? Yeah, just just for the first couple of days. I won't be here too bad. <laughs> All right. Nadia is resting in the recovery room. Okay. Hey, baby. There it is. Mama, you too. Mama, you too, baby. Baby, mama, you too. Okay. 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 As soon as she is more alert, her mother can take her home. Nadia will return to the hospital in three days to ensure her eyes are healing well. It's been five days since Armand's open heart surgery. He is well enough that the tube draining excess fluid from his chest can be removed. Hi. Hello there. Time to take that tube out. It's time to take the tube out. You are both welcome to stay while we do this. He will cry. It's a little bit painful. Yes. Um, so if you want to take a walk to the elevator, you're welcome to do that. If you want to stay, that's okay. No, we'll stay. Okay. okay. So the Band-Aid stays on for 24 hours. So the one that we put on today, you After can you take tie the stitch tomorrow. up and that's put right. it on? That's right. Then you can take the Band-Aid mm -hmm. off tomorrow. And the stitch will just fall out on its own. The stitch actually doesn't fall out on its own. We'll take it out at the clinic visit next week when you come back and see us. But it's an easy it's an easy thing to take out. It's not that painful. Feels just like oh, a little sure. chicken pick on your skin. Sure. You're still skinny. You haven't fattened yeah. up yet. Mm -hmm. Not yet. That take you home to fatten you up, I guess, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you're looking all concerned. This preparation, all this preparation. On your forehead. Right. The look of concern. Yeah. Now, we he had see a painkiller this there. morning, so maybe you won't feel it so much. We hope not. So somebody's gonna have to guard his hands for us. So Dad, if you stand there, you could just. You know who my hands? Mm-hmm. Really mm -hmm. You feel better tomorrow when you don't have this tube inside you anymore. Okay. Okay. Sorry, honey. It's okay, baby. Oh, no, you kind of got to die for it, don't you? I'm sorry. Good boy. It's coming out. It's okay, coming out. There you go. Good mm. boy. Okay. Really now that Armand is tube free, he is one step closer to discharge. But first, a final x-ray is needed to ensure no additional fluid collects in his chest. They don't like it, they... Yeah, I know. Post-surgical fluids are common in cardiac patients and can reduce the ability of the heart and lungs to function. Okay, I'm done. Three days after Nadia's surgery, she returns for a checkup. You see the big E up there, sweetie? Mm -hmm. uh, look right up there. Her ophthalmologist assesses the alignment of her eyes. Now what we can see here on the alignment is that she's a little bit cross-eyed, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve because for the long-term result, that eye should start to pull back around the amount of degrees that she is crossed right now. Now up close, she's even straighter. She has maybe, oh, maybe one or two units of crossing, and that's the reason that up close things are a little better. So, so the um, the near is the first part to come into synchronized vision. The distance is the last, and uh, I'm very optimistic for her. I don't want her running around and the playgrounds or recess gym and that sort of thing. Just in those first three weeks. Um, and that way she won't have any risk of bumping or, or having the eye hit. And then after the third, she won't be able to go skiing or anything like that? Yeah, I'd probably give that another week. Okay. She should probably do the bunny slopes first just to make sure that her coordination is right. See, her base vision should be better now once the eyes are straight because she'll have both eyes synchronized looking at the same thing and the 3D aspect of her vision should help her be better at what she does. Nadia is healing well but we'll have to wait another two months to see the final result of her eye surgery. It's been six weeks since Aaron's feet were reconstructed. Before he sees his orthopedic surgeon for a checkup, his casts will be removed. You ready, Aaron? Yes. All right, here we go. Stay there. Lots of noise. You know what I'm Yeah. What does this mean?
a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's see how well we did, Dan. Okay, here. Just gonna crack it open like a pop bottle. That hurt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smell me now, boy. No, I'm not smelling you now, buddy. Don't be back. Come on over. <laughs> Get over here. Yuck. Want to put your foot in your nose down there and take a whiff? Sure. Disgusting. Yeah, well. Ah! Woo! That was the earth of gas. There you go. And there's another one going in the garbage. Not keeping that one there. Ah. <laughs> oh, that foot looks good, Aaron. It looks like that. There. That's a little different. Hey. That one looks oh. good. Dude. Big yeah, difference. Big nice promise it. not to touch, Aaron. Don't touch me for two or three weeks. That one, that one looks so yes. good. We're not touching. Promise not touching. You're making my foot nervous. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to We're ask about this. We're taking unnecessary risks. <laughs> Armand's parents stand by as his chest x-rays are reviewed. Hi there. Uh, oh, he's eating, having lunch. Okay. Um, so, I have some test results for you. So, things are looking good. Um, everybody's happy. The chest x-ray looked okay. From the chest tube coming out, there were no holes. There was no fluid anywhere that shouldn't be. So, um, so he looks good. And he sounded well. So, we're happy for you to go home this afternoon. Okay. Okay. Thanks, You're very welcome. Take care. Good luck. Okay. Bye-bye. Armand has had an excellent recovery from major surgery. You're going to go home. After just five days, he's ready to go home. Bye. Armand will return to hospital in three weeks for an echocardiogram. Only then will his parents know whether the surgery has been successful and improve the function of his heart. Now that his casts are off, Aaron sees his orthopedic surgeon to assess his recovery. How does it feel? Funny or funny? Uh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I it would feel. How was the walking going in the cast? Uh, good. Was it? Yes. Yeah, not too sore? No. Have a look. You haven't tried to walk without the cast yet? No, no. just a uh, kind of weight bear to get into the chair, right. really. But Are you afraid if I touch it, is it a little sensitive or are you? Uh, yes, it's a little sensitive. A little sensitive. They, they sure do look di different. Well, that was the aim, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I think we're at the stage then of trying what walking feels like. So it's been six weeks. Yeah. So it's not completely healed yet, because when I press hard, it's still sore. Right. But it hopefully is healed enough that he doesn't need to go back into the cast. Okay. And yeah, what will determine that? His walking? Right. We'll go out in the hallway here and let's give it a shot. Walking after casts are removed can be yeah. hard for anyone. Aaron's about to walk on brand new feet for the first time. Want me to help you? How does it feel? Weak. Weak, yeah. That's common. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> sure looks like it would. Well, he's walking gingerly, but if it was really, really sore, he can't do any damage. It's just a matter of whether he can manage. Okay. So they, the bones have healed enough, enough. to support yeah. his weight. Come on back, Aaron. Just Aaron. Look like you're trying to make the way to the exit. The reason to go back into the cast is for comfort. If it's, if it's OK in terms of comfort, then we don't go back into the cast. Yeah. So you think you can manage without being in cast now? Yes. My guess is he's uncomfortable a bit, yeah. but it's not so bad. And remember, this is. I mean, he just tried it for the first time yeah, there. Right. He's going to get more confident and stronger, and plus he's going to have shoes on. So the fact that he was able to walk, walk as far as he did, okay. 
I'm not denying it's still a little bit uncomfortable, right. but I think he's ready to come onto the cast. That's my assessment. Right on. There you go, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> relief. Oh, relief. Two months after the surgery, Aaron continues to feel steadier on his feet. Hopefully, Aaron's 22nd surgery will have been his last. <laughs> it's been two months since Nadia's eye surgery. Welcome back. Today, she will be examined to determine if her eyes have been successfully straightened. So how are you doing? Let's have a look at you there. Well, you look mighty good. How are things at school? Are you able to see the blackboard all right? Can you read? Yeah, it's okay. So we're just going to check her position of the eyes. Right, her eyes are straight. So uh, that's excellent. So when she's using both her eyes together, her eyes are perfectly straight. So uh, as long as she stays like that, she's going to be excellent. And up close, her eyes are perfectly straight. She's doing really well. So um, her vision's back to where it was. Her uh, um, you know, her eyes are straight. Okay. It was very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Good to see you again. Okay. You're very welcome. Okay. So take good care of your mom. Nadia's eye repair surgery has been a complete success. And with improved vision, she can look forward to excelling at her favorite activities. That is a unbelievable. Three months after her trip to the ER, Kristen has fully recovered from her head injury. It will take a little longer to recover from her new injury, a broken arm from a fall to the ice. I fell skating a couple weeks ago and I broke it, but it's all better now. It's been three weeks since Armand was discharged from hospital. Today, he returns for the echocardiogram that will determine the success of his heart surgery. <laughs> there he is. Armand's parents meet his cardiologist for the results. He looks great. This surgery all went fine. He had a lovely course through the hospital yeah. and very happy with his echo results. He's got a very, very tiny little hole still where the VSD is. He's got what we call a residual VSD patch leak. Okay, that's very common after the operation. There can be a little bit of a leak, but it's not significant as far as the pump function of the heart goes. It's important for us to know that he's got a communication between the two pumping chambers. With time, it might close by itself. Even if it doesn't close, it's not a major sort of concerning thing. How's he doing developmentally? He's pretty attentive, isn't he? Looking oh, yeah. around all the place. And He's gotten very loud and very happy. <laughs> He's, yeah. A lot of giggling. Giggling and, and right. just making, talking, a lot of and talking now. Talking, yeah. making noises to himself for a while. I think we need to see him again in about six months. Six months? Yep. Wow. So we we'll we'll see him again with an echo at that stage and, a, and an ECG and see how he's getting on. In the meantime, um, you just follow up with your paediatrician get his vaccinations. If you're concerned about things, contact us, but get back to treating him like a normal little boy, okay? Now that Armand's heart has been repaired, he has been able to develop like a typical toddler. Try and put him down now, so... So you learn to lift up your head, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's solid. He's gained a lot of weight. Right. Armand will continue to be followed by his cardiologist, but his parents shouldn't have to worry about the hole in his heart anymore. Nothing down yet. 